I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For the taking? Do you know what you took from me? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance, but I've got nothing left. <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? Clementine. A girl misses her parents. I'm not them. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later. In the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us! We were starving. It was cold. So my family starved in the cold! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. 
You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. I'm sorry again for your family. Me, too. I'm glad this didn't have to get violent. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad, too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Sweet Pea, we're leaving. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. 